Yo, what's going on YouTube? AJ here. Here, and welcome to episode to part three of my Mario Party 7 Let's Play. We are on we are gonna continue on from where we left off from Grand Canal. Now, this is episode two. If you guys haven't checked out my last episode one, the link will be in the description. Or you can click on my playlist to watch from part one. So we're gonna continue the party of where we left off at Grand Canal. And it was rough, and we're not doing so well, but we are on about the 15th turn, and we got about 10 turns left. So we could get lucky, or we cannot. But all we can do is just pray. But yeah, as you can see here, if you save a party like I did last time, yesterday, this will pop up. So we're going to continue where we left off. So, how are you guys doing today? I actually had a very good day today. Uh, I was off today and I went to a party. Had a lot of fun. And also, uh, I got a new, I had outfit I wore today. I got like a new shirt. And with this shirt, I was finally able to wear these shoes I had that go with it. So, it was a bit of pink today. So, the party I went to was uh, partially a pink thing. I mean, it was a bit of pink, but, you know, I was told to wear pink, so I had to buy myself a pink shirt, which I did. I picked it up today, and it was so perfect to wear with these shoes. Uh, my dad gave me a couple of his old shoes, and I haven't worn them up until today. And my outfit was on point, like a lot of people were saying. So if you guys also want to check out the outfits, it, uh, I'll post it at like the beginning of the video or just the link to it. So yeah, go like it on Instagram. Go give it a like, comment, you know, do what you want. And we're still getting low rolls, so we're pretty much not getting no rolls. As you can see, Peach is in the lead with three stars. She got like two stars from the last episode. Who's going to be that one? Okay. Good, it wasn't battery gram again. Because if it was, I would have been mad. Okay, now we have Spear Factor. Help your partner roll the giant ball to the goal. First thing across is the winner. Advice, try to cross the wooden bridge and avoid the dip. If you fall into it, you'll lose time. You're probably confused on what the for my say, but you can probably, but you can see right here. Yep, that's the bridge. You want time to fall off it, cause if you don't cross the bridge, it'll slow you down. See, so yeah, in this game, this is cooperation. This is teamwork right here. Just to push this ball right to the end. It seems simple at first with the beginning, but once you get to that bridge, that's where you really want to be careful. You hit these wamps. We hit the Marty Mole, you know, kind of like, you know, do that to it. No, get on the bridge, get on the bridge, get on the bridge. No, come on, come on. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Okay, okay good. The only worst part is that if it fell off the bridge, it would definitely lose time. Boo Mario. Yeah, that's a power up. <laughs> so, yeah. We got about 10 turns left, so I could get lucky to get a, a couple stars or even steal a star, but we just got hope and see. I mean, we're not getting nowhere with these low dice rolls, so come on. Okay, this is the third thing Bowser does for Bowser time. He's gonna crush the orb shop, and he's gonna open up his own shop. Yeah, great stuff, whether you want it or not. Well, you're forced to have whether to take it. So, okay, this happening space, well, we didn't really show it off because the computer minigame settings off. But I'm going to explain that one. In this one, three shy guys are going to throw coins at you. They're not just coins, finally. So as you move, you just collect them. Pretty simple. Just gotta avoid this finding edge and you won't lose time. You know, just get, you know, whatever points you can. 
It is a pretty simple action space. And here's our first DK mini DK uh, space. And we're going to play a multiplayer. Game. <laughs> oh, your creature's on one more, but it's just gonna be the exact number of bananas we get. Now, these play games are actually pretty easy, but then one of them is tough, and that's this one. This one is bananas faster. Hop on the roulette wheel to collect bananas. You can jump as many times as you want before time runs out. Get the bunches of bananas. The bunches will cost five bananas, and the single ones will cost one. But, if you hit the peels, like there's actual banana peels here. If you hit one of those, you'll slip and fall, and you'll waste a turn. Like, after you land, you'll jump back to your spot, but if you get hit by the banana peel, you'll get stunned, and right after, like, the second turn, around, the second turn, you'll jump back to your space. I would say don't try to go for the bunches, because these computers are smart to just go. Mm. Okay, I got one. Wasn't really aiming for it. Oh, yes! We got them both. And I'll just look. See, if we had times two or three, we would have gotten 22 or 33 coins. But times one, we're just going to get 11 coins, which is decent. That's a good amount. Yeah, this game, actually, this is the most DK mini game that's a bit... Oh, real great. Of course it does that. Alright. Give me a quick second. Okay, we're back. So, yeah. The game just cannot be read. Oh, simple. Just took it out, blew on it for a little bit, and it's working. So, you guys might almost be seeing that quite a lot. I hope not. But, yeah. So, we got some good coins. But we're just not good since we're getting low dice rolls. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah, oh, if only if I could get 12, I can land on this one on the other side. So let's not use this yet. Because what luck, we actually get 10. We're on the red space, but we can use 2 next turn. Now, I know the star is over there, but there's chances I might be able to get it, or I could stay over on this side, just to, uh, just to, uh, I might get lucky. Alright, so now we got Spider Stomp. Take down the spiders that have kidnapped poor Flutter, and do it quickly. A giant spider awaits you at the end of the level. Give it all you've got. Yeah, so we're taking it back to the old days of gaming, where it'll take almost like 200 hits to kill the boss. This one doesn't take 200 hits, but it kind of gives that feel that it does. So the small spiders take about one hit, and the medium leg size take about two hits. And yeah, they'll shoot webs at you, and they'll stand you. And so far we're not doing well since Boo is not playing perfectly well. That's how you play Okay? Very set. Very, very simple. There's a giant. Just hit him up the time to roll the webs. Okay, usually the spider will come at you like it just did to the other team. This one didn't even come at us. So, this one was free for us. And that makes sense. From what I, from what I know, spiders do, you know, eat other bugs, and butterflies are one of them. So, makes sense why they trap the wiggler that turned into a flutter. Oh, Boo was right there. I didn't even pay attention. Hey, oh, man. The only way we can get lucky is if I don't, I didn't lay a punch. I would say that would have helped, but Peach is obviously going to get that. So she's going to have four freaking stars, bro. Actually, wait. Okay, that's a prana I thought I landed pink blue, but I guess I didn't. But, I thought we got 200 coins now, which is 
I want to say my highest record. I caught over 9 to 99. So, uh, not really messing. The only way I can get lucky is if I had a pink blue space and a uh, peach land around it a lot, but not just peach blue too, I could be getting a lot of stars. The second would be to land on some dual spaces and dual. And in the dual mini games, whoever wins, uh, totally didn't even explain this. In the dual mini games, yes, it's one v one, but whoever wins, you spin the wheel, and a couple things can happen. You either take half their coins, you either take all the coins. More challenging, you either take a star or two stars, from you, or you might just take nothing. So. The fools just get lucky. We would have to try to just take two stars. Hey, Stinky! <laughs> uh, okay, now I can hit the gun down. So I just gotta roll a two. And I can just go for it. And we can finally get like a second star. Not sure if we can get out of here. See, if I have another soul for it, it will help, but then it may not help. But I just can't get a bad dice roll. What I mean is that there's the happening space that sends me back to the start. So I cannot get a bad roll. If I do, I am fucked. Man, there's a lot of piranha plant spaces, though. I'm gonna go a two and two. Just gotta make sure and let's not mess it up like last time. But yeah, you get coins from inside the woods. Two! Almost got one, but thank god. They can show off this face. Yep. Jump to get the coins. Oh, wait, what's up? Oh, I think it's only for the A players. Alright. So we got about 13. Oh, a Mario will be getting there, but... If only he landed on a Firefly space, he could stay cold. Okay, there's a flash fight again. But this time, I'm gonna be with the... Well, I'm going to be with the team that takes their disc out and... Alright. So I explained Flash Fire already. But this time, now that we're on the team of three, we got to be tricky and avoid Boo, who is now the one... Um, is now the one shining the light on us. So that like these computers can mess you. Oh, see? He's trying. They're just going to trick him. Until he goes all the way around. All the way around. Move. Got a peach. Yep. Yep. You almost got her. And just go like this. Even on Bruce, the computers are stupid, you know. And they got... Ooh! Finish. Okay, good. Ooh! It was close. Yeah, it was close, but man... This is how crazy the computers are with this game, though. Especially with Flash Fight. If you're part of the team of three, shit like that can happen, man. And it's funny, but then at the same time... Also, I think Mario has a freaking mushroom, so he's obviously gonna get the star. Because we're never going last, so we won't be... We probably won't be able to get it. I think he has a mushroom. That's not really nothing. Could have still bet all of them, boo. And he has a super throne. Ah! I'm sorry if I scared anyone with that noise, but it's so annoying when that happens. And he has, and he had a, do, a good roll, so he can easily get that star. You know what would be stupid? If they put that star on the other side. On the same way he's going, he would still get it. But if they did that, yo. 
I'm just like so freaking hey, mad. Hey, stinky! Hey, stinky! I almost was about to say, if they put that right at that other side, well, I can, I can get that. I get a good dice roll, I can go with two stars. The only worst is that if anyone lands on a Koopa Kid space, and he does that feature where everybody swaps random positions, that would have messed me up real bad. But what stupid feature didn't use the mushroom? So, I can go with that with a good roll. Perfect. Okay, got spiny. Doesn't really do nothing. It'll perform mostly as self war. So we're now in second place. But Peach is in a good lead though, so we gotta really get up, man. But okay, now this one's right by the way, past the workshop. So Peach can get that unless she doesn't win no mini games and she stays at like literally 20. Because when that when you go back to Alice's orb shop, he'll just take 20 coins from you. He'll take 20 coins. Uh, from one of the two things he sells you. Alright, oh, we got targets out of here. Pretty obvious, just get the most, like, targets that are worth more. But then again, it doesn't really matter, but just go with what you can. Don't try to go for 50s or 30s, just get what you can. If you're selling these 5 and 10s. Ah, oh, you stupid computers! Oh no! Oh, I definitely lost. Blue got that. Beach one. What? Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh man, yo. Now she won't. Wait. Actually, she still can lose twenty coins. But then, come on. How? I saw Boo get the fifty. But how the hell did? Oh, she had that guy in all the thirties. They just make the computers just, they're like the computers are easy now, but then they'll just be like, oh no, we're still going to get it. And you don't even have enough for the star, boo. So, this happens at the orb shop. At Bowser's orb shop. They'll sell you either a Koopa Kid space, I mean a Koopa Kid orb, or a golden statue. Now, even though boo didn't have enough, he still took it. I think it will stop you with the orb, he'll throw it. And with the golden statue, he'll just take it from you. Hey, Stinky! Hey, Stinky! Oh, wow. Well, this is what the pink blue orb does. A boo just puts a boo inside of itself. And it takes a star. Now Peach got freaking five stars, bro. Oh man. You don't need any more stars. Oh my god, bro. Small chances Wario might get that. But then maybe... I don't think he'll get it. Yeah, he's not gonna get it. Well, because he just wasted 10 coins and he's gonna lose 10 more. Like I said before, Mario Party 7 is no joke with the music, man. If you played this during your childhood, hearing it just hits nostalgia. Now she uses it. Peach is acting smart as hell. Like she just let Boo freaking go to the orb shop and now that it's done, she can use the mushroom. Are you freaking serious, bro? 
She just got two double nines. She got extra coins and now she can get that star. Are you serious, man? What is with Peach just have to be... Why she gotta be the lucky one, bro? Oh my god. Of course not. Even if she spent 30 coins, she still will have enough. But no, the computers just know. She can't get that one. She went by past it. I won't be able to reach that. Damn. Okay. This is a star space. The star can land on this. And I do want to get rid of the space. I don't want to land on Fuku Gear. The bush, you can equal the coin that's causing everybody to have enough for a star. So, I don't want that to happen. And I was good that I did it with it, so I got a two. Two v two. Okay, now we got world peace. Okay, so world peace. Combine two shapes to make the shape in the center of the board. First team with three points is the winner. Each shape is composed of two halves. If you pick up the wrong shape, you will lose valuable time. So in this game, you want to look carefully at these shapes. Some of them are so closely familiar, it just becomes so tough to deal with. Go! Uh, uh, oh, too late. They're too late. <sighs> Almost have the wrong version. There's two pieces that look so closely similar. Very simple. Oh my god. They're gonna freaking lose. But the computers were just like following me. Which I hate. Get it. Oh yeah. Oh good, good. Okay, flower. I was right on it. Yes. Come on. We're tired. Right. Oh no! I died. Ah. Finish. So I can say I should probably start getting the ones that are further away, since these computers are programmed stupid to go to the closest one. Oh my god, bro! This is just being ridiculous. Again, we can't give up. There's chances we might get lucky, and there's chances we might not, so it's still almost a long way away. And to also say this, I will be dead I will be doing nine star handicap challenges. So you guys will see that after the let's play. Like after we just go through every board and all. You guys will see that. Okay, Battle Peach. Uh, you know what? Let's actually watch this. Let's see how... Let's, let's just see what goes on. The start of stupendous. Stupendous. Okay, I'm play Royal Brumpus. Now, I can't control this. So, this is gonna skip it. But, I'm gonna explain. Royal Brumpus, you need to just ground pound on the Goombas. If you're gonna find the most Goombas, you win. Regular Goombas count as one point, and the Golden counts as three points. My choice is to not just go for the Golden, just ground pound as many as you can. You can even ground pound two if you're like perfectly, like right on top of two of them. Yes, Wario well, we got one. We got one more, so yes. Yes. Okay, I would just let Barrio go ahead and take two stars from Peach. If he can do that, come on. Oh. Okay, okay, that's not really doing nothing. That's just giving me extra coins. And plus, she passed by the star. Uh, of 
find me, she puts that right in front of me. Unless I can get a two or three. Unless I get three, I think it is. I can go on the other side. I need a three. That's not a three. I'm actually mad. We got a mic in the game. Okay, we got Darts Attack again. We played this we played this in the last video and I got so lucky. So let's see if we can get lucky again. Who knows? Go! Can we get lucky again or at least you know close? The boot just went right for you. Got a perfect hundred. Okay, 50. 90. And just to say this, it's very rare for the computers to get 50, especially at Brutal. You know what's funny? On normal difficulty, the computers go for 10 the most. Alright? Let's see if we can get lucky again. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Okay, well, wow, we was 10 points down. Yeah, we're gonna get lucky this time. What is going on, man? <laughs> Last video, I was freaking lucky as hell. And just now, I'm just like losing luck right now. This honestly is so annoying. It's making me mad, but then at the same time, I can't really be that mad. It is what it is. It's not like I was betting to win this game. But like I said, I'm just doing this for fun. If I don't win, I don't win. Okay? So I'm taking a picture, and this time Bowser brings it. And for 10 coins. And, yep, we got spam. And also, guess this. It is the last five turns. So this is where the party is closely about to end. We really have to get serious more here. Hey, okay, not really nothing. We're just gonna take just two. Just two coins, really. <laughs> Of course, this flutter. He, of course, gets the flutter. It's not even helpful that I'm not even going around the most as everybody else is. So, if they set off the running star, I'm definitely as hell not gonna get it. She just took a whole thing from me. I know she's praying, she's hoping I land on a piranha plant space and give her half these coins. No, I'm gonna try not to. And what will we get another mic man again? And we get dark attack again. We just played that. <laughs> okay, so I messed up in just the last turn, so 
we'll try again. Let's see what goes on. Huh. This time 130. The best is trying to get at least two fifties. At least two fifties, one twenty, one thirty, and then like one more thirty or twenty. Oh god, Mario got one thirty. One Mario got one thirty-two. Oh don't even. Wow! Oh my god, we better freaking get this. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. That ain't gonna help. This is freaking ridiculous. Oh. All right, so every last five turns, Bowser will, you know, show the standings. Yeah, Boo's in last, I'm in second. But right down to four freaking stars. There's something Boo can do in this wheel, so... Okay, so he just made it partially a bit easier. Now the star's gonna cost 10 coins instead of 20 coins. That just made it easier for everybody who just is under 10 coins. Oh man. About one secret I can say if Boo, Boo actually will mostly get more self awards if you're in fourth place. Oh no, the coin swap. Okay, okay. Because if he swapped with me and I had four coins, I would have. Mm, one more, that's another dangerous duplicate event. If he swaps your coins. Like if you had. Like, I have 211. If I shot with Boo and got four points back, that would have just been a complete disappointment. I better not land on that damn space. No, let me not jinx it. I do mean, not want to jinx it. Okay, it took half a point. Bad dice for oh yes. That's what they that's that's what I need, the flyer man. But I actually I wanna save it for at least the last turn probably. Okay. This depends. Okay, we got snow ride again. We lost it last time. Let's see if we can claim and win this. So badly. I know I didn't hit nothing, but then I actually slowed down. Finish. Bullshit. Bullshit. Why? <laughs> I mean, if they sell the mini game star. It's chances I'm gonna win it. Uh, I'm obviously going to win. Uh, then, still.
Ooh. Oh, I had a long day today. I mean, it was a good day, Jim. It was a long day at the same time, so... After I finish, after this is done, I am going to sleep. I actually have to, I actually am working until the 6th tomorrow. So, you guys will get probably part of one. Uh, you guys will probably get a Mario Party video tomorrow after I get off work. But all I know is that Monday, I got two reaction requests and I'm going to be doing those two on Monday. Oh my god. That one gave her coins, so she... Oh my god, what is this? Okay, that's a bit closer to me. I don't know if it fully helps much. Nah, she's coming back to the start, but this is the hacking space of this. Yep. Water's right behind me. You know what? I just forgot what pieces landed there, and I'm not taking the risk if there's a piece there. We're just gonna go for it, okay? Cause I just normally get badass dice roll, so I'll probably land me on that warrior on that warrior space so he's half my coin. Tweaster there, so we can't even get it. Unless a funny thing happens. If we go past it, it leaves us right on the path. Yeah, Tweaster can mess the fun can do a funny mess up right there sometimes. Yeah, who knows? I, I should have waited for Tweaster, but I forgot where Peach landed there. If it was a spiny, I would have been okay with that. And finally, here's the first battle mini game. So, we're on that. Oh, and I forgot. It's 5, 10, 30, and 50. So, there's 30. Of course, two people don't have enough. So, it's mostly me putting the most 30. Okay, so everybody chose. Wario and Peach both chose Magic Revenge. Who chose Air Force? Plus, if I choose that when we play the final countdown. But nope. We're gonna go with the easy one, Monty's Revenge. So Monty's Revenge. Peek out of a hole, but don't let Monty Mo whack your head. The player who stays out longest wins. If Monty Mo smacks you in the head, you'll be stunned. Pull back when he raises the hammer. This is where you want to really focus and be quick. So yeah, whack a mole. Not gonna happen now. So I'm right there. He almost got me. As you can see, the longer you stay out, the more you'll get. But I feel like these computers who just are stupid or don't even like dodge if I want to be quick as hell to do this. Yeah, well, once they raise that hammer, hide. See? Ooh, ooh! Oh, oh that was close. Ah. Yes! I want that guy. Yeah, try to keep a sharp eye on those moles, and then before they hit you. Yeah, I am down by four stars still. If I can at least get one more star... Yeah, if I can get at least one more star, I can... I can just hope I can win all three bonus stars. I forgot to turn the skip off on this one. I'm gonna turn that off right quick. Yeah. Blue got enough, but then still. Still. Hey, 
is stinky. Oh. Ooh, he almost got triple nines. You get triple the same number, you'll get like, you'll get about 50 coins. That was a spine. Bullshit. Good dice roll. Ooh! Wait, we might get lucky. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. I know we land on the blue space, but if Wario uses that super swim next turn, he'll get hit by that twister. And we should be able to get that star. And yes, we get a super swim again. So we can use that next turn. So if it goes according as planned, if Wario uses the Super Shroom, so next turn, he'll get hit by that Tweester, and I can get the star next turn if I set off the Super Shroom. Yeah, it's, that, that has to go as planned. Okay, now we got Big Dripper. Collect the honey that drips from the ceiling, but watch out for swarms of killer bees. If the rumble feature is turned off, you'll see an explanation mark on the screen when the bees are coming. If the controller starts to vibrate, bees are on the way. Duck with A and wait for them to leave. Okay, this is actually where the rumble feature of the GameCube controller is in. If you have the rumble feature on, the controller will vibrate. And I'll let you know the bees are coming. You also see that the hives shake. So, sometimes they'll trick you. They'll shake and they won't come out. They'll shake and they will come out. Now, if you have the rumble feature off like I do, the explanation mark will appear. The game's pretty easy as long as you know, you know what you're doing. So you'll see the explanation mark. Now you'll know where it's dripping if you see the green marks. Okay, it took long, so I made me think it wasn't going to come out. Ooh, that was close. It took long again to try to trick us. Ooh, thank God I got that last one. I would have tied with him. Man, I can't stand bees. You guys don't understand this. I gotta tell you the story real quick. For this past week, there's been nothing but freaking bees all outside my house. Like, whenever I get out of my house, they're right there at the flowers and the bushes. I almost couldn't even get out. There were six of them one time, and then today was like four of them. But I managed to kill three of them by spraying the bug stuff. Not the offspray. The uh, raid bug stuff. Yes, I got lucky. And yes, Wario used it. It went according to plan. Wait. Don't send him on the same path. Yes, he got sent back to the third. So we use that slippers room next turn. And yeah, of course you can't buy one from the last turn. But yes, this can actually be closed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this, but if the orb star is out as the bonus star, Peach will definitely get that. So, I would say, uh, I don't think I'm going to win this. Even if I don't get all, if I get one bonus star, I would say I'm not going to win. I can already tell. Because with all these little ass dice rolls I had and everything, this is just like not gonna do nothing. But yeah, there's been bees like non-stop. I mean of course when it's sunny out, there's flowers, they will be there. I actually was I actually could have cut those. I mean I don't cut hedges, but I could have called my uncle to come and cut them. I remember he cut my dad's hedges, which I bet they grew back by now, because that was like a year or two ago. And I could have told him to come over here and cut these. Now, it rained on Friday, so that morning, there was no bees. I could have actually freaking 
took some scissors and cut that right quick before I left for work. Not even like think it through. Alright. So we got the star, thank God. Okay. Alright, so this is take me on. Take me on. Jump over the high voltage sparks to avoid being tossed from the rain. If you stomp on a rival, you will stun them for a few moments. Okay, this is actually a game where the computers can act, where the computers jumping on you can mess you up so badly. So my tip for this one, stay the hell away from the computers. Like don't have no one near you when you jump. And don't do these short jumps. Do these long jumps. And you also know what bombs is gonna go because you notice the face change. And right, go for it first. But a half point, two is gonna come out like that. And sometimes at the exact time, you can jump on two. Okay. Who doesn't even need to jump? He's not even touching the ground. But hey, little game logic. Alright. Okay, so let me say this. The only way I can win this is Peach can't get one star. She cannot get not one star. If me and her got a star, that's not going to help. She can't win not one star. She can't get one of the bonus stars. I have to at least get all, I have to get all three of them to win this. Because I'll tie with her with stars, but I will win by the most coins. So, let's be lucky that these are like bonus stars that actually will make me win. Alright, so I got the all three bonus stars. Peach doesn't need to Peach just can't get a bon a bonus star. That's the whole point. And if Boom Wario did and I didn't get one, that still would mess me up. Alright, so we got I lost. <laughs> oh man, I freaking lost. I know damn well I didn't get the orb star. And I couldn't have not, I definitely did not get the shopping star either. I didn't shop much. The red star I may have got, I may be tied to someone. Alright, orb star, player who used the most orbs is Peach. I knew it! For all them damn orbs they gave her and everything, she obviously got that. Okay, shopping star. I'm gonna say... Wario. No, her! Holy shit, man. If she gets all three of these bonus stars, man... Oh my... That's... Oh my god! She got all three stars! Oh man. Yeah. It's obvious who the winner is. Damn, bruh. <laughs> God. Yo. Yeah. And the winner is Peach. She took all three of the bonus stars, man. I can't. I can't really believe it, bro. Oh, man. And you know, when I was a kid, I actually used to get very salty and actually, like, cry myself to sleep whenever I lost. But right now, I'm just someone who's salty. I want to rage, but then... <sighs> I can't be bad. It was a tough, it was tough, but hey... For the next party, we, we'll see who will win the next party. So let's see the final uh, results. Coin, a mini game. Yes, I definitely won that one. Shopping, I was down by 15 points. Wait, no, 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 not 15 points, excuse me. Freaking, uh, wait, 25 points. Wait, hold on, I can, wait, I gotta do the math. I'm all fucking out. 
Yeah, 25. Yeah, 25, yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's not my fault. With all these damn dice rolls I got, I got the worst. Look at the running star. I mean, yeah, Peach one that one. Running star, I was the lowest. Warrior got that. He got strong cell phones. There's no blue star. Red star, Peach got that by five. And with the happy star, Blue would have got that. Okay. And only one person ran on the duel. Three mics faces on the One DK and two dollars. Yeah. So. You know, hearing this music, which is, I think is, I forget what it's called. It's King something, but yeah, hearing this is also still nostalgia. Especially when it's nighttime. It's nighttime there, so it kind of gives like a good like vibe. Like it's nighttime and it's a big celebration for who's the winner and all that. And then while the cruise ship is, ha is taking us back home, we're just crying in the bed. So yeah, after every party or anything you do here, but mostly every party, you'll earn cruise mileage points. So we got 653 points. We usually would get more depending on the amount of turns we do. So, you guys will see how much when we do like longer turns. So yeah, that's going to be about it. We lost, but this was the first party for the Let's Play. So, for the next one, you know, we'll see. For the next one, we're going to see if we'll win that one. So, we can't even really give up. If we lose, we lose. So, we're going to try to see if we can win this next one. The next party will be at Pagoda Peak. Thing, the China based board and this one is one of my all time favorite boards and so, so I actually cannot wait to I cannot wait to party on that board and just you know hope to win it so anyway if you guys enjoyed this make sure you like comment subscribe uh, uh, check out my part one check out part one of Grand Canal the link will be in the description my Mario Party 7 playlist link is in the description or click at the end of the video uh, no questions, but again, if you have a question about the game or just anything in general, just comment down below and I'll answer it in my next video. Well, till then, I am salty, but I'm just gonna, you know, go calm down. Uh, but it is what it is. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next party. Peace. You never see it come